The first type of trader we are going to talk about is called a scalper. Scalping is like being in a high action movie where things are constantly happening. Everything is fast paced and exciting. This type of trade is held onto for just a few minutes at most. The goal of a scalper is to win very small amounts of pips on as many trades possible during the busiest times in the market each day. You would obviously have to be glued to your charts to be able to enter and exit trades this fast. So this is for people who can spend a couple hours of undivided attention to their trading. Scalpers have to stay very focused and think quickly in order to be successful. Scalping is not for traders that want to make big profits on a single trade. It is for traders who like getting a bunch of small profits that add up to make a big overall profit. So how do you know if you might be a scalper? Well, you would need to like fast trading and excitement. You would need to be able to focus on your charts for several hours at a time. You may be impatient and not want to wait for long trades, so you want to win a bunch of smaller trades. And you need to be able to think quickly and change bias if needed. If that sounds like you, then you might be a scalper. You're probably not a scalper if you get pretty stressed in environments where things move fast, you don't have several hours to be able to commit to staring at your charts, you would rather just take a few trades for bigger profits per trade, or you don't like pressure and you like to take your time to analyze the market. If you don't think you sound like a scalper, you may be a different type of trader, although you may not know until you give it a try. If you decide you are a scalper, here are a few tips to consider when you scalp. First of all, only trade the most liquid pairs. You want to trade pairs that have the tightest spreads and high trading volume, such as the EURUSD, GBPUSD, USDCHF, and USDJPY. Really, you would be fine scalping any of the major pairs. If you use pairs with high spreads, then those transaction costs are going to add up. Second, only trade during the busiest times of the day. This would be when the sessions overlap. The very best time is when the New York and the London session overlap, which would be from 8 a.m. to noon Eastern. Remember from an earlier section, you can always refer back to that section when we talked about the best times to trade if you need to figure out what time that would be where you live. Another tip is to make sure you account for the spread. I remember when I first started scalping, I was making $3 a trade, and I thought it was so easy and I was really excited. I came to find out that with the spread, I was actually losing about 50 cents a trade. So don't be like me and make sure you account for the spread. I would try to close your trades in at least double the amount of spread. As you begin trading, you'll get used to the spread and know about how much you need to make in order for it to be worth it. Fourth, try to stay focused on just one pair at first. Scalping is very fast paced, and if you have to keep track of multiple pairs, especially as you're starting out, you may feel overwhelmed and not scalp as well as if you just focused on one pair. Once you get used to the things on one pair, then of course you can add as many pairs as you want. Finally, make sure to pay attention to major news reports. With slippage and higher spreads during news events, scalping can be dangerous. Make sure you are always aware of the news. You can check a lot of places, but like we always say, forexfactory.com is a great place to check. That's it for scalpers. So if you didn't feel like this was you, then you may be a day trader or swing trader or position trader. And in the next few sections, we're going to talk about these types of traders. So I'll see you in the next section where we're going to cover what a day trader is. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you join our free Discord channel to get access to all the cheat sheets and a bunch of other cool bonuses. The next video in the course is right here.